What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, before going into today's video, I want you guys to cry with me because I'm gonna show you something that I don't want you to do. So yesterday I wasted 250, I guess, plasma cores. And you wonder, how can you waste 250 plasma cores? By the way, finally I'm plasma three as a free to play player. So that's good eventually. But guys, do you know that you update these buildings? And if you are gonna upgrade the buildings, you can just press this talent, for example, uh, rapid development, I give you like 20% uh, reduction in construction. So yesterday I started to upgrade my HQ, but I forgot to press the talent. And guess what? So I canceled the upgrade, but in the text, it said that after you cancel the upgrade, all the resources uh, will give you, uh, we will give you all the resources back. So I thought they were gonna give me my plasma cores back and guess what? They didn't give me anything. So I wasted 250 or 230 something plasma cores because I just canceled the upgrade. So that's crazy. I just sent a message to the help all support here. So if you wanna guys see, because I'm super sad. It took me so long to collect those plasma cores and I just lost I, I lost them like that. So one minute of silence for my plasma cores. Okay. Let's go into today's video. So we have this earth event. This one, let's go here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, this uh, Earth event, they're always coming up with this event. So in these events, you get very good rewards. You get like uh, legendary hero fragments and you also get like these legendary books and you get uh, bio caps, but you have to do this task every day. So as you can see here, they are bringing up they are bringing up more of these events where you have to get points through all these tasks here. But let's be honest, most of us, especially if we are free to play players, we don't have like a, the the resources for upgrading heroes every time you have to upgrade because you have these events, you have the survival of the fittest, you have like a, the alliance throwdown, you have the power spring, you have tons of events, and in all of those you have to do something. So. What I did here for this event, uh, I recommend you to do, it's the first tip. It's this one. Guys, save. Once, once this event is finished, just save the uh, search maps. Sa save as many as you can. So I got all my rewards from today, just doing this because I have like a like 100 uh, epic search and I have like 150 or 160 advanced search. So what I recommend you to do guys is that you get this daily. So don't use them, don't, don't use them because more events like this are coming. For example, you have, uh, or you had before the carnival event, then you have the women event. And in all those events, you need like uh, to get those rewards. So the more rewards, the better, because once you completed all the points, then you can get into the legendary heroes part where you can get uh, like 10 fragments or something. Uh, as you know, those are good. So those are good and you're gonna need those for upgrading your hero. So save those epic and advanced search maps. Don't use them during the daily basis. Just save them for these events. So that's the first tip. The second tip is when attacking this, uh, what are we attacking in this event here? We are attacking what? The animal trap. So you are finding this animal trap here and there is a squat uh, or, or you get like rewards for the damage you do. 
So the thing with this event is that you don't want to do so little damage each time, but you also don't want to do so much damage each time because then you don't get all the rewards because you end up getting like less bio caps, less rewards. So I'm going to show you here how to find the balance. So as you can see, I'm going to just click here. If I choose, let's say the best squad, this is my best squad. For example, if you want to literally just inflict a lot of damage in this event, then you can use uh, Emi and Ellie, or if you don't have Emi and Ellie, you can use Jeb, or if you don't have Jeb, you can use uh, Ash. So you use that along Mike. Mike is super good for these events because of the laser, and you can use Travis for the stamina. So when you use Travis, it reduces 100% stamina need. So instead of paying uh, 10 stamina, you pay eight, which is good because you are gonna need that stamina for keeping or for, for to keep doing these uh, events and doing the intel to get in the to, to get plasma cores. So as you can see here, I did uh, almost what 35, uh, 70, uh, no 60, yeah 65 damage, you know? 65 uh, units of damage. Let's say because it's 100 percent. No, uh, I got like 65 units of damage here. Uh, of course, I'm gonna kill it here in the second attempt. So, and we are gonna see what we get doing this. So, I got here 200 bio cups and 100 bio caps do you see here here is the kickers guy if you inflict too much damage in the first one you are gonna get 200 bio caps of course but if you inflict like little damage like uh, 35 of or 20 or 30 percent damage the next one then you don't get 200 bio caps you don't get either like nine arrows for the the event you get like eight and one and, and 100 bio caps so how can you find a balance there to make 200 bio caps each time you attack this infected or this trap or this monster so you get the most of the event so you change your squad the first time you attack the the trap or this thing so i'm gonna do another one where are those here the trap so because that's my best squad in a state of travis i'm gonna use julie garcia and Julie Garcia, so you are gonna pay just two more units of stamina, which is good, but this is just for getting more bio caps and more arrows, which are gonna give you more chances of getting the good rewards. So instead of doing like 65 or 75 damage, let's see how much damage I do. Guys, if you don't have Julie Garcia for this, you can use any other hero, but uh, just use Mike always for these events. You are just gonna change like Emmy or Ellie depending on your, your state. So here I did, let's say, I did 39% uh, damage and I got 200 bio caps, eight arrows. So now I'm gonna, instead of doing it with Julie Garcia, I do it with Travis because I get more damage with him so I can finish the monster and I have 61 left. So now let's see what I get. here guys and let's check the difference now so if you see here I got 200 bio caps 200 bio caps 8 arrows 8 9 arrows and 1000 chief experience and 10,000 chief manual here I got like 2 by 200 and 8 by 
1000. So this is the last one. Now the first one was seven, two by 200, 100 bio caps, eight arrows, and it was nine arrows, 200 bio caps, one by 5000, and one by 10,000. So there is a difference there, guys. You just pay like two more units of stamina to do it like this, but you have to do this like 40 or 60 times during the two, three days that you have to kill this monster. And those bio caps and those uh, combat manuals will add up. So you end up getting more bio caps and you end up getting more rewards in general if you are doing this way. You send a weaker squad the first attempt, so you get like 40% damage, and then you send the stronger one, which gets you like 60% damage, and you get, of course, the best of both worlds, and instead of sending the strong squad just once, and then you get like 70% damage, and then 30, so you are just gonna get less bio caps and stuff. So that's the second tip. And the third tip, is the following guys here you have like a uh, good rewards but you are gonna get this uh, three days skin the city of earth hq skin so what most people do is they start wearing the skin you know to look cool i tell my alliance members to not do it but they do it anyway don't wear that skin for those events guy or while the event is happening save those skins so you use them during the reservoir rate or during the state versus state. Why? Because they give you 2% extra troop damage, which is good. You are going to need that to lose less troop while you are attacking the state versus state or to be stronger while you are doing the reservoir rate. So these are the tips for today guy aside from, from the crying that i did in the beginning of the video and uh, i hope this helped and if you are interested in following this content just uh, like and subscribe and if you want me to talk about anything just leave a comment so thank you so much guys and have a good day